Shalom, this is Sophia, the Ameru Khan Maryam, and we're here with a sample North and South Node reading. Um, this is just so people can have an idea of what this is like um, and how I interpret it. Um, I know this is not really something that people do, so I wanted to um, give you guys a sample. And this sample is going to be based on um, the nodes are actually switching stations on July the 17th. And we'll be going into 29 degrees of um, Aries and uh, 29 degrees of Libra for our North and South nodes. So this is just going to be a brief discussion of what this energy is going to be like and what you can expect if you get a North and South node reading from me. So your North node um, in this case is going to be the full card and that is the card that's associated with Aries and that is the major arcana which is on the outside of the spiral your north node as I mentioned before the nodes refer to the nodes of the moon the node that's furthest away from us and then the node that's closest to us um, or the point like the the point of axis that it spins on that's what it means by nodes so the north node is always the um, the position that the father wants us to be. This is his goal for us. What he wants us to do. What he what he put us here to do. And in this case on July the 17th. It's going to be the fool. Um, the what you were given to do like I said. And the fool is for new beginnings. The start of a journey. And so what this tells me is that what we're here to do. Is to take the leap of faith. Look at everything as it's new. Not to judge you know stuff off of past experiences. Because for sure, by then, we will be immersed in a new timeline. And so if you bring that old stuff into the new timeline, you're going to recreate the old timeline, which we don't want. So you'll have to take a real step back and look at the way that you're conducting yourself and make sure that it is um, in alignment with the energy that's currently out here and not um, automatically um, reaching back for the energy that was here um we want to go into that new into that fresh energy and um in the case of this thing switching options the people who are who have been doing the work the people who are in the upright the people who are um not causing chaos on this planet they will all be given a new start it will be like a uh, like the slate is wiped clean and we'll all get to jump into this new energy together now the people who are causing chaos and confusion they're going to be given the south node and the south node in this case is um the why why you're here and this is represented by a card on the inside of the spiral and the inside of the spiral is the subtle energies but it's also the energies that the mother has control over meaning it's the it's the energies that the mother can move around and manipulate in order to make things happen and so this is what um, they always say that the South Node is what you're trying to get away from, but I would not say that because we are made perfect in the image of our father um, and our brother. And so I would more likely say that this is just like I have on here, the why of your experience, why you are experiencing certain things, why certain things are happening to you the way that they are. Um, and also what is your why that's something that we talk about in um uh like business um development a lot is what is your why what is what would you drop everything for um no matter what and so in this case we have the four of swords which is standstill difficulties and exclusion and so the four of swords um in this case is um People are going to be asking, why are they experiencing what they're experiencing? And if, like I said, if you're in the upright, you're going to be experiencing great new things, new beginnings, fresh new starts, and it's going to be amazing. But if you are um, causing chaos on this planet, you're getting the four swords energy, which is, um, you know, you'll be saying, why can't I get anything done? Why am I at a total standstill? Why are things so difficult? That's what you're going to be given. And so it really is going to be personal down to the personal level, which side 
you end up experiencing. And so in a um, in a reading that I would do for a person, I would go into some more details on this, um, you know, because I would be able to to to, to channel a specific thing. But um, because I'm just doing the energies that are coming in, um, you know, I'm going to leave it here because I don't want to spoil the plan um, that the you know that everyone has been working on but i did want to just give you an example of what a north and south node reading would look like so if you did get a reading you could expect it to be like this the, the cards the meaning and then i would go into some detail about what that means for you um and so i hope this is helpful to people of course i put all the information out there you don't have to pay me to do this you can absolutely do it on your own um it's really easy to understand the, the wheel um, and, uh, that I have presented in another video, so you can really put this together and I'm going to post it in my community pages, um, uh, community post so you can see all three parts together and you are more than welcome to put it together and really get that thing down into your own understanding. So I hope this has been helpful for people. Um, and definitely on the 17th of July, look for this energy to be coming in. So things just start to happen and everything is great. Hey, you know, you're on the full energy. You've been given a new beginning. And if you're trying to figure out why nothing is going right, everything is at a standstill. What you wanted is, is just frozen in time. Well, um, some of y'all are going to be given the four swords and, you know, you have plenty of time to repent, get it together, you know, seek the most high with, with all your heart, mind and soul as the mother to walk with you and and the, you know ask our brother to cover you um you got time but um you know time is is really quickly running out so i hope this is helpful to everyone and i'll see you in the next video shalom